welcome back to another video and uh today's video i got another car discussion for you guys i haven't done one of these in a while and i want to actually bring them back because they're kind of fun and they're actually a couple cards that i want to talk about including this one that we're going to be talking about today which is connector of nephthys this is a card coming out of phantom rage which is the core set after uh rise of the duelist so it's like we got right we get rise of the duelist next and then we get this uh get this set after that so as the next core set which is pretty nice so we won't be seeing it for a while but hey it's fine to talk about it just got released like i think like yesterday or day before that so yeah it's pretty cool so um yeah uh, nephthys the deck hasn't gotten support since its initial uh wave in hidden summoners i believe or some other set i don't really remember uh it's a pretty bad set let's, let's be honest here <laughs> uh but uh yeah they've just been a fun deck that hasn't really taken off uh like at all it's kind of like a small bit of experimentation like with true kings and the incantations but overall it's just always a fun deck that kind of has just fallen by the wayside but uh this new card i really like and i think it can actually like you know make them playable uh, in the modern game and um yeah just be the cat like be, like be the card that can like you know push this deck along in the right direction so let's just stop talking and actually talk about the card so connector of nephthys is a level two wind spellcaster ritual effect monster attack 2000 defense zero you can reach the summon this card with reverse of nephthys you can use each effect amongst the first and second effects with this card's name only once per turn. First effect, if this card is Ritual Summoned, you can special summon one Nephthys Ritual Monster from your hand or deck, except Connector Nephthys, this is treated as a Ritual Summon. If this card is tributed by or destroyed by a Nephthys card's effect, you can activate this effect during the next standby phase, destroy up to one Nephthys card each from your hand, deck, or and field, except Ritual Monsters. So overall, this card's actually really nice for the deck. I really like this. It does a lot of cool things for this deck that, like, for the deck that um, previously wasn't uh, possible. Uh, so let's just start off with the level. Uh, it's piss easy to get out. Uh, let's let's be real here. It's a level two, so it's really easy to like get onto the field because pretty much all the monsters, like the small ones anyway, in Nephthys are level two. So like Disciples level two, Devotees level two, all the other smaller level like smaller monsters that came along with the new wave are level two as well i don't know if i'm missing a level four just randomly in there i don't think i don't think i am but pretty much everything in that deck is level two at least small monster wise uh so this card is pretty like accessible and should be easy to get out so that's really nice um its stats are pretty decent i like it i the fact that it's a 2000 level two is kind of hilarious <laughs> uh because devotee is like small like is a level two as well but it has like small attacks so the fact that this can also be like a small little beater if it's on the board is uh kind of nice um the only downside with this card is you can't pre-prep it uh that's like honestly like a nitpick after reading this card uh to be honest uh you can't pre-prep it because it's not in the name of the text of the ritual spell so uh that's uh, honestly like i said a nitpick because you can uh get it off of regular prep and you can get it off the incantations you can search it that way as well so you shouldn't be able to like you know have trouble searching this you can also search it off of disciple which is funny uh so that's nice uh so yeah uh pretty should be pretty accessible shouldn't be too hard to search and get into your hand so you can actually get this uh, get this on the field its first effect is honestly really nice and i think like revolutionary in a way i mean i, I know i shouldn't say that kind of word but uh but i just I don't know if, if I'm, I'm probably wrong, but uh, I think this is like the first like monster in a ritual deck that can actually like ritual summon another ritual monster from your hand or deck uh, without having to use a ritual like, um, you know, spell. I could be very wrong. Uh, you probably like if there is a card, comment down the below to tell me which card it is because I just can't think of it if there is one. Uh, but other, but it either either if it isn't or it isn't is a really it, this is a really good effect. Uh, that uh, is really nice for this deck in particular because let's be honest like Nethys are a really slow deck and the fact that this can help you know bolster le them into like make them a bit faster is really nice uh, the fact that you can get out your devotee off of this uh, onto the field as well and then the devotee then will like bring out another Nethys monster is really nice I like that you could also get out your cerulean uh to help to have more offensive plays which is good so this is a really nice effect i like it um it's just there's something the deck needed it's like a like it really desperately like they needed a starter that can like really you know put push their plays forward in a more efficient way and this is like uh really nice and i'm so glad like 
oh my god i'm so glad that konami didn't like put a restriction on this effect like they could have very easily like let's be real here they could have very easily said at the very last line the ritual monster you special summoned off of this is like has their effects negated they could have very easily said that they could have very easily done that but they didn't and i'm very thankful for that because honestly that would have been like like that would have just made me not want to talk about this card at all because that would have just been pointless uh but no i'm very happy that they didn't put like any kind of restriction of that like that on this card because that would have just like made it 10 times worse <laughs> like in everything so um not to say that it is a bad card it's a really good card but it would have been like meh you know after if they put that kind of restriction on it but thankfully they didn't so you can actually use the effects of the ritual monsters you bring out uh, like the nephthys ritual monsters you bring out off of her effect so that's really nice so two thumbs up for that <laughs> Uh, the second effect is really interesting as well. The fact that if it's tributed by or destroyed by a Nephthys card, you can, uh, during the next standby phase, destroy up to one Nephthys card each from your hand, deck, and field, which is cool. Uh, the, uh, it does suck you have to wait to the next standby phase, but that is like the inherent gimmick of the deck because you you wait to the next standby phase after they're, they're destroyed um, to get off like certain effects. Uh, that's just an inherent gimmick that that's nothing to fault the card in. That's just how the deck is designed. Uh, but it's really nice. Uh, the fact that you can like now have three like Nephthys cards online, uh, pretty much to help you like get their destruction effects off uh, the next standby phase after they're destroyed is really cool. Um, I really enjoy that because it just makes the deck a little bit more faster in it like in a way. And um, it's really easy to you know get this deck effect online as well because you can tribute it off the ritual spell. Uh, which will help give the ritual spell a secondary effect because it because you are attributing a Nephthys ritual monster and You can destroy it off of devotee. You can destroy it off of disciples. You can destroy it off of Cerulean So it's like um, Really accessible uh, both effects are really accessible and I really like that. Um, so overall uh, Really nice, you know support for a deck that is like kind of middling <laughs> right now So is this gonna make Nephthys like meta? No, is it gonna make make it like upper tier row no but it does make the deck more playable makes it more like able to like get wins at like a local event and maybe sometimes if you want to take it to, to maybe take it to a regional maybe it can get somewhere now uh because of this card so uh overall i really like the card does a lot of good things for the deck uh the only downside is it can't be pre prepped but that's like a, like i said a nitpick at this point so like because this card's overall is just amazing i like it a lot and uh, it just, you know, pushes the Nephthys strategy in the right direction and just does a lot of things that they want to do. And I really like that. So, yeah, other than that, though, that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about for Connector and Nephthys today. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, what do you guys think of Connector and Nephthys? Do you guys think it's a really good card? Do you guys think it's meh? Or and, uh, what do you guys think it does for Nephthys going forward? Do you think uh, this is going to make Nephthys go into, like, maybe a rogue deck-esque kind of territory or you think it's just gonna make that just do doesn't do anything for it like long term wise to the deck and the deck's just gonna stay where it is and stay as a fun deck and just never see any other play except for locals so uh like i said i hope you guys all enjoyed this video um leave a like comment subscribe we should see you guys next video have a nice day